Yo, welcome back to Dark Room Reviews. I don't know if you've happened to notice around the movie community here on YouTube, but there is a, a little trend going around. A certain movie tag, or certain content creators are asked uh, seven questions, and I happen to have those seven questions. Thank you so very much for Ravens fan Ryan. Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link below. First question is of my favorite movie score of 2024. Gosh, um, there's only one, at the top of my head, there's only one movie score that stands out to me, and it's Hans Zimmerman's score for Dune. Um, it's back again, and Dune Part 2, obviously. It's a no-brainer. Second question, favorite animated movie of 2024? That's an easy one. Inside Out 2 really stole the show. For me, I was impressed. I feel like Pixar's back. Um, front and center. Third question, uh, favorite movie poster of 2024? The Fall Guy comes to mind. Dune Part 2 again. <laughs> and, um, Kingdom of Planet of the Apes. There's a few. There's a few uh, that are canon. Four, the most disappointing movie of 2024. The I'd say The Fall Guy. To me, there were moments, there were scenes, they just ran on for too long. And I didn't like the fact that it was a, a romantic comedy disguised as an action movie. I saw right through it. Uh, that took me right out of the movie. Uh, the enjoyment was just non-existent. There were a lot of long, awkward conversations between uh, Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt that I just didn't enjoy. I didn't find funny. So yeah, that was my choice. Fall Guy. Uh, favorite action movie of 2024. Gosh. Uh, actually, I would have to go with Boy Kills World, which uh, quietly hit theaters this year. I, th I don't think a lot of people saw it. It just flew one of those movies that flew under the radar. Uh, and, but uh, luckily I got a chance to see it before it was gone before it disappeared into obscurity it was a fun time yeah worst movie of 2024 gosh um, Madam Madame Webb Madame Webb's up there for me uh, Night Swim Imaginary there's a few there's a few in there Basically all of Blumhouse are seven last on the list. We have favorite movie character. I would have to go with uh, Kirsten Dunst's character Lee Smith in Alex Garland's Civil War. That is a memorable character from 2024. In 2024, I think she even deserves uh, an Oscar nomination. Uh, best Supporting Actress. Best Actress, perhaps. Uh, even a Golden Globe But we'll see we'll see we'll see what the future holds Well, that's it guys all seven questions answered look forward to more content very soon uh, If you want to continue this trend th That would be such a fun thing folks if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button It really helps out in the long run dark room reviews. It's the place you should be subscribed to join the channel It's free